In this video, we're going to finish off our cornhole boards. But first, take a moment just to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. We're going to go right through the whole process and get us to finished cornhole boards with logos on them and everything. If you watched the first video, you'll see I already made the legs, um, went through and, and uh, designed them in Fusion 360 and completed the legs which is really the hardest part of the cornhole board and not that difficult. We we're actually going on a trip and we wanted to take the cornhole boards with us so we made some changes to the original design. I was originally going to inlay the uh, top, we we're going to set it into the frame but instead we decided what we would do is just make the frame and attach the top to the frame in the normal way. The next thing I did was to cut all the frame pieces up into the right length. So it's 48 inches tall, 24 inches wide. So I cut it up just a straightforward 2x4 stud in frame. And we're going to put those together with uh, dowels and pocket hole screws to hold them in place. Once we had the lens cut, then we just needed to put the holes in where the legs attach to the frame. And obviously that's one of the other critical parts is to make sure that's in the right place so that when the leg stands up, the 12 inches off the ground. And there are four frame lengths where those holes have to be cut. So as long as you just make sure you have the top of the frame into the date in there, you can reproduce it very quickly. Just set it up each one, set it up, cut the hole, set it up, cut the hole, uh, and just do that repeat, rinse and repeat four times. So then it's just a matter of drilling the pocket holes in the ends of the frames. I got this nifty little pocket hole jig, so I can uh, very quickly put a couple of pocket holes in and join the two together. I also have a jig for doing the dowel holes so I just set those up so I can actually create the dowel holes and then we're just putting a little bit of glue in my wife's actually um, gluing these up so she's putting some glue in the holes put the dowels in and you can see on the right hand side the, the, the piece with the pocket holes already drilled in it so we're going to put those uh, them together dowel them together and then screw in the pocket hole screws I try to do as much as is practically possible on the CNC so it's very repeatable. The thing with uh, cornhole boards is you've got multiple pieces that are exactly the same. So all you got to do is set it up once on the CNC and then just keep running it through and make all the pieces methodically. Then comes a bit I couldn't wait to do, which is to cut the hole for the cornhole board. Uh, it's a six inch hole that is nine inches down from the top and in the middle of the board. And I will tell you that I, I went for a lightweight board here, so I didn't use the half inch um, plywood for this one. I only used quarter inch plywood, primarily to keep the weight down. Um, and I did put some reinforcement behind that board so it doesn't flex when you throw the the cornhole um, bags at it but this um, CNC cut in this hole was very clean although you can see some little furries around the edge right now once those are taken off it's a very clean hole I do have a piece of hardboard behind it so that it can cut all the way through and it keeps a nice clean edge on the underside as well So again, the top on was basically just gluing around the edge of that frame and then put the board on, apply some weights just to hold it down while it glues, and then that's that part complete. After that, it's really just the assembly and painting. And my wife painted the Watford logos on there, so we support the Premier League team Watford FC, and that's their logo. And then a matter of just lacquering the surface uh, to make to finish it off so that it, the their bags slide on it very easily. 
you haven't played Cornhole, I highly recommend it. Anybody can play it. It's a lot of fun for the family. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like this video because it helps me. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.